interesting. Um, you know, the whole emphasis of synthesizer design has been towards giving you more and more options. It's not more options that you want, it's more useful options. You know, so, so I, I've always been trying to press for a synthesizer that's like this. You know, this guitar here, look, has three positions. In fact, there are five, because you can get in between the positions. It's a copy of a Fender. It's a very good Japanese copy. Um, but the thing about it is that each of those options means something. It really is a different sound, and it's a useful sound. This thing, which I like very much also, has infinite options, and uh, you just don't need so many, you know. For playing, it would be just as good to have a synthesizer that had six or twelve really fantastically good, useful sounds. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute, what key are we in? No, 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 none of that. Like I said, so many new voices and the most interesting thing about this machine is there's a whole bank with just new synthesizer sounds. Like great aggressive arpeggiators. The only thing you need now is like, like a beat, like and then you're gonna make a lot of money. And I wanna go with something kinda kinda obnoxious, <laughs> something kinda in your in your face uh, type sound. Uh, and I think there's a couple in here as well. You have immediately loads and loads of very contemporary modern grooves. This one, or this one. So all this stuff you can immediately use. Look at this lead pencil. There's not a single person in the world who could make this pencil. Remarkable statement? Not at all. The wood from which it's made, for all I know, comes from a tree that was cut down in the state of Washington. To cut down that tree, it took a saw. To make the saw, it took steel. To make the steel, it took iron ore. This black center, we call it lead, but it's really graphite, compressed graphite. I'm not sure where it comes from, but I think it comes from some mines in South America. This red top up here, the eraser, bit of rubber, probably comes from Malaya, where the rubber tree isn't even native. It was imported from South America by some businessmen with the help of the British government. This brass ferrule, I haven't the slightest idea where it came from, or the yellow paint or the paint that made the black lines, or the glue that holds it together. Literally thousands of people cooperated to make this pencil. People who don't speak the same language, who practice different religions, who might hate one another if they ever met. When you go down to the store and buy this pencil, you are in effect trading a few minutes of your time for a few seconds of the time of all those thousands of people.
and the track is done. Thanks to reason. <laughs> Quantize. Why? Because it's house, of course. Three, four. I know I want something a bit like high, but I'm not really sure what exact sound I want to use. So I'm just looking around and see if something sounds like it. Well, everything sounds it's crazy. Everything sounds the same. It's, it's unbelievable. I say. So everything is triggered. And this system is called MIDI drum trigger system. The MIDI drum trigger system. Yeah, MIDI means music instrument digital interface. <laughs> it's difficult. For example, drums. Stop like that. It's all about power dynamics. It's always, it's always great. You can even play the old stuff, you know. Or maybe I want to have a nice drum arpeggiator, some nice synthesizer sounds all in one. Is everything possible with this machine? Yes, everything is possible. For me, some people it don't. Doesn't, doesn't work. Yeah, everything, doesn't everything, produce. more or less. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. But I would advise to sidechain everything. And now, how about drums? An instrument everybody loves. We have beautiful drums instruments right in the product case. Listen to this: bass drums, snare drums, crash cymbal, hi hat when it is closed. And when it is open, a crest cymbal and small drums called tom-toms. And now, let's learn how to play a rock and roll rhythm. Rock and roll is very simple, just four counts. And on every count, play the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on the first beat and the third beat, play the bass drum. One, two, three. One, two, three. And on the second and fourth, play the snare drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is rock and roll. Let's play double time for the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. That was kind of the fun part, you know, and it's a shame because exactly. people nowadays, they just kind of, you know, they just click a few clicks on the thing and it opens up and it just does that automatically. And they're not, they don't have any idea what, 
what there's is no pain doing. involved. Right. There's and no the pain challenge. Was the fun part. The pain, the, the journeys, everything. Like the best, the best effect that I tried to copy you did was that freaking bouncing delay on Let's Dance. Gun, 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 gun. It's not like a freaking ricochet rabbit going off in the distance. <laughs> I'm like, that wasn't done with a preset on Echo no. Boy. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have that back then. <laughs> Okay, there was no preset, right? Yeah. There was a couple of tape machines, it was freaking Studer VZ, right? Feeding time. back into this and doing that, it took like hours to master. And you're like, ooh, ooh, I got it. <laughs> now it's like, ooh, no, I got it. Actually, it took There's about no a minute. <laughs> you didn't even earn it. I did real flanging for my assistant. You going? What are you doing with a tape machine? Can you just shut up and watch? <laughs> Whoa, what's that? That's that's that sound. Oh my God! Like the plug-in. <laughs> is me just directly into the amplifier without the tone stack of this particular preset. Now I'm going to engage the tone stack and now here is the actual preset.
เป็นเป็น